Hey guys, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. To change a default browser on iPhone, simply open the Settings app and scroll down and tap on the app you wish to set as your default browser. If you don't see it listed here, it's probably because you haven't installed it yet, so you'll need to switch over to the App Store to download it. In the App Settings is the option to change the default browser. So now when you click on a URL, it will open in your preferred browser like so. Most browser apps will also include the option to set them as default from within their own settings. So in Brave, if I tap on the three dots in the menu and choose Settings, here is the option to set Brave as my default browser. Tapping this option simply takes me back to the Settings app to make the change. If I quickly switch back to Brave, it's worth also mentioning that you can change your default search engine here too. So if you're not a fan of using Google to search the internet, you can opt for an alternative. It's the same with Chrome. I can open the Chrome app, tap the three dots followed by settings, and here is the option to set the default browser, which again will open the settings app. And just below the default browser setting is where you can set your default search engine. On Mac, the settings app is laid out slightly differently and you'll find the default browser option under the desktop and dock preferences, just below the section on widgets. Now, when you click on a URL link in any app, it should open in your preferred browser. Like with iPhone, most of the browser apps will let you change the default browser within their own settings. So here in Brave, you'll find the option here in settings and you can change the search engine here too. In Chrome, you'll find it here in the left-hand menu, and just above that is the option for changing the search engine. So that is how to change a default browser on iPhone, iPad, and Mac. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And here's how to share passwords with friends and family, and an easy way to share an AirTag. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.